Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everyone is doing well. Today, I would like to share with you a very important message, and it's the message that will lead you to eternal life. It is the gospel of Jesus Christ. My friends, we all need Jesus because we are all sinners. Every single one of us, my friends, have broken God's law. We are all imperfect. Only God is perfect, my friends. That is why we've, we've all been separated from God because of our sins. What is sin? Sin is disobedience to God. We have all broken God's law. Whether it's lying, stealing, disobeying our parents. Every single one of us has sinned against God. And that is why the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The consequence for sin is death and judgment. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So the good news I have for you guys today is that even if you're a sinner, there is a way for you to go to heaven. Do you believe in Jesus, my friend? And God we trust. Amen. Amen. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in my Jesus Christ. You believe Jesus is the Son of God? Oh my Jesus Christ. You believe Jesus is the Son of God? Sure, nigga. You believe Jesus died for your sins? For sure, nigga. You believe Jesus resurrected from the dead? Uh, have you repented of your sins? Fuck this shit. So, the Bible says that we're actually going to be judged for every idle word. So every time we curse, every time we say the name of God in vain. I'm sorry? And so, I want to encourage you. It's good that you believe in Jesus. That you believe He's the Son of God. You believe He died for your sins. You believe He resurrected from the dead. But secondly, you must also repent of your sins. To repent means you must recognize that you don't agree. Why don't you agree? I don't want to repent my sins. So, you? Jesus said, I have repented of my sins. Yes, yeah. yes I have. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will perish. But I'm, I am. Let's go. You repent yourself. I don't hear shit. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Congrats. Thank you. The only way, my friends, for us to be forgiven is we must repent. Not only must we believe in Jesus, but we must show that we believe in Jesus by following him and to follow him means that you must first repent so what does it mean to repent to repent means first of all you must recognize that you have sinned against God yeah who is Jesus who is Jesus Jesus is the son of the living God yeah so Jesus came on this earth 2,000 years ago he was born of a virgin and he lived a perfect sinless life because Jesus was actually God in the flesh, in bodily form. I know because it is historically documented, my friend. You just have to do your research. Yeah. You should read. If you want to have a Bible, I can give you a Bible. It's historically documented. I do. Yeah, sure. It's historically documented, my friends, that 2,000 years ago, Jesus came on this earth. He was born of a virgin. He, sin he, he lived a perfect sinless life, he did miracles, and ultimately, Jesus became the perfect sacrifice. When Jesus died on the cross, he took your, your sins on the cross. Yeah. Yeah, but he, took, he paid the penalty for the sins for all eternity. Yeah. So he paid the penalty for your sins. You can't do that because you're not God. Only Jesus could be the perfect sacrifice. So Jesus died on the cross for your sins. So that if you receive him, if you accept the sacrifice of Jesus, you can have eternal life. I'm just wondering, is there a reason you're asking all these questions in front of a line of people going clubbing? Yeah, there is a reason actually, because I want to win as many people as possible to Jesus Christ. But do you think it's possible to like still go out and go clubbing and drink and smoke and stuff and still believe in Jesus? You can believe in Jesus, but the Bible says, not everyone who claims to believe in Jesus will enter the kingdom of heaven, but all those who do the will of the Father. And so the will of the Father is that not only must you believe the gospel, but you must also repent of your sins. Thank you. You must also repent. Repent means first you recognize that you are a sinner, right? You recognize that what you're doing is wrong. One second, one second. She already gave me a baby. And then you must make a decision to turn away from your sins and to follow Jesus Christ with all your heart. That is how you can be sure that your sins are forgiven and so that you can make sure that you're on, you're on your way to heaven. Thank you. I'll have a deep reflection on this when I wake up at, at like 12 p.m. tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you. So, I would like to share with you guys a very important message. And this message 
will determine where you will spend your eternity. Because my friends, there is a way to go to heaven. And that way is Jesus Christ. Yeah, just respect your body. The, the, the life is God gives it to you. That's it. We have, have to know what is good for you. Is that what's more good at the good time too? You're young. You can live in your life and do your shit. But after you're gonna see what's gonna, what's gonna be good for you still. Respect your life. Live your life. So yes, I agree that you have to respect your body. You have to respect your life. But most importantly, you must give your life to Jesus Christ because Jesus. You know that Jesus, he went into the home of sinners, tax collectors, drunkards, prostitutes. He said that prostitutes and sinners will enter the kingdom of heaven even before the religious people. Because Jesus did not come for the righteous, he came for the unrighteous. Because a doctor doesn't come to people that are well, a doctor goes to people that are sick. And so Jesus is the great physician and he comes to sinners because he loves sinners and he wants them to repent and believe in him. Allah Akbar. Okay, well, you could say Allah Akbar all you want, but you have to do your research. And if you do your research, you will see that the Quran is unreliable, my friends, because it is written 600 years after the Bible. And so if you are a Muslim here today, I want to encourage you to give your life to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, so that your sins can be forgiven and so that you can have eternal life. Because no matter how many good things you do, you could pray five times a day, you could go to mosque, you could fast, none of those things will erase your sins. You need a sacrifice. And Jesus sacrificed his life for your sins to be forgiven and so that you can have eternal life. So my friends, I want to encourage you guys to give your life to Jesus Christ. Whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Jew, whether you're an atheist, all of us need a savior. All of us need a sacrifice. And Jesus was the only historical figure, or only religious figure, who came to save you from your sins. Because my friends, we cannot save ourselves. No matter how many good things we do in this life, it will not erase our sins. That is why we need a sacrifice. And the good news is that there is a sacrifice. His name is Jesus Christ, the savior of the world. Jesus shed his blood for your sins to be forgiven. So I want to encourage you, to give your life to Jesus today. There is no other way for you to go to heaven except by the way of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one could come to the Father except by me. So I want to encourage you today to think about your eternity, because the Bible says it is appointed for man to die once, and then after will be the judgment. Every single one of us will stand before God one day. We will be judged according to all that we have done on this earth, whether good or bad.